if you are not actively doing outreach to build these type of relationships for your agency, you need to start today. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Search. This week, we will talk about how to grow your agency through partnerships. And again, Joe, we've been in business for a while now. We actually love to build partnerships because we don't do everything great. There are certain things that we're very good at, like e-commerce, structure, backend, any kind of code, and customized e-commerce strategies. But for example, we don't really do PR or we don't really do a lot of earned media. We have partners that we have built relationships with. And we always say, if you are building relationships, it has to be a win, 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 right? It's gotta be a win for you. It's gotta be a win for me if we are agencies and it's gotta be a win for the customer. So when we talk about that, talk to us about why it's so important for these partnerships to exist for the sake of the client. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So when it comes to the, for the sake of the client, a lot of agencies out there will sell you a service that they don't really provide or they don't provide that well. And they're just trying to capture the sale. And what ends up happening is that client leaves there getting burned because they just spent a whole lot of money and did not receive what they believe to be worth that amount of money in return. I'll tell you what happens. Upwork happens. Upwork <laughs> happens, right? Then they leave and they try to find a freelancer, right? Absolutely. That happens all the time. So what we've learned is rather than trying to just grab that money, make that sale and, and provide the client what's essentially a poor job, right? Just to try to get that sale. I'm now hurting myself as an agency. That's what a lot of agencies do. And they don't realize that they're hurting themselves. And you're jeopardizing your relationship with the client. Because if you're getting a retainer, let's say of $10,000 from him, you're trying to upsell him at $1,000 for a service that you don't offer because you don't want to lose them, now you're jeopardizing the $10,000 business. Absolutely, and now what you're doing is you're taking out of the equation any potential business that you might be getting from that client in the future, yeah. right? So that's when establishing the right partner to take on that work that maybe your team is not fully equipped to handle or maybe you don't have the resources to handle, right? Because you might be tapped out at an, at an agency. Because so at this point, let's not even talk about not being able to provide quality product. Let's talk about not being able to provide a realistic timeline. Because a lot of times that happens, your agency might be tapped out. And now a job that should take four weeks is now going to take four months. And what's going to happen? That client's going to get frustrated. They're going to get upset. They're going to request a refund and they're going to leave. And, and they're going to leave a negative review. Exactly. Again, so for the benefit of the client, look for an agency partner that can handle that. It's going to benefit you in the long run as an agency owner. And full disclaimer, on a weekly basis, we do, we have a channel manager that works at Optimum 7 and we try to build these relationships with different agencies. It could be, we do e-commerce, we do SEO, we do paid search, we do content marketing, and we do all the development side of things, right? But for the things that we don't do, we actually want to find partners because on a monthly basis, we reject over 20 clients because they don't have enough budgets. We just we have minimums that we work with because they ask for services that we don't offer. You know, if we had a partnership for that specific service, then we would basically send that to that partner that we have or that agency partner. So if you are an agency, imagine possibly getting 20, 30, 40% of your incoming leads from these partnerships. It doesn't really matter what you do at your agency or what you are great at, yeah. you need these partnerships. Now, the way we've built these partnerships, Joe, is again, you can do percentage-based, you know, so it's a referral fee that mm -hmm. we charge, let's say, five or 10% when we send leads to other people. But there are also opportunities where two or three agencies will go and bid on a specific project or a larger project. Talk to us about that process. So a lot of times when there's an RFP involved and, and the RFP is requesting an, a full scope of everything from traditional uh, media to all the way to development, uh, PR, and you know, the works, right? There's no way that we can fill out that entire RFP and win that business, right? Because again, we're not experts in traditional media. We don't do that, right? We don't, we don't do commercials. We don't do radio, 
right? So at the end of the day, our best chance of winning that business is to get our other agency partners that do focus on that to fill out those areas of the RFP. Yeah. And what happens here, you're actually hitting multiple birds with one stone. You are able to respond to the RFP. You are using somebody else's expertise. So the RFP response will be a lot better. If the company is doing their due diligence, they're going to want to talk to you. Uh, if you are the last three companies standing, they're going to evaluate how good your response is and what your case studies look like, right? So you get the business and you deliver the business better and more accountability because now you have partners that you are going into this yeah. project with. Absolutely. I like that you mentioned case studies. A lot of times you're on a sales call and the client now starts asking, well, do you do this? Do you do that? Can you show me work of what you've done? Now, you as a business might not, again, that's not your bread and butter. That's not your expertise. That is not what your agency focuses on. But now, because you have these agency partners that do focus on those products or those services, you can grab and you can rebrand again. If agency partners, they'll give you a white labeled, uh, you know, and it doesn't, really, it doesn't really have to be white label, yeah. right? What we like to do is be transparent about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. There's a difference between saying, do you do PR? No conversation is over but there's a difference if you respond do you do pr no that's not in our wheelhouse but there are partners that we work with that are great at blah 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 right so the conversation ha has completely shifted because nobody's yeah. if you're honest and direct and transparent nobody's going to blame you for it yeah absolutely i mean there are definitely two you know multiple options but you can either white label or you can be fully transparent and my, my preference to be honest is to be 100 transparent because at the end of the day, if you're not white labeling it, guess what? Your your agency is still taking on all of that work. You still need to be that project manager that's now going to communicate with the other agency. So again, if you're going to do the white label <laughs> uh, approach, you're going to need to work out those within your margins rather than just getting a, a percentage or a cut for a referral. Right? So it's, it's a little bit more intricate when you're going to start white labeling. So at Optimum 7, we only work if it's a mutually beneficial relationship. We won't work with a partner that we just send business to. And we don't expect a partner, agency partner, to just send business to us. It has to be, again, very important. It has to be a win, win, win. So if you have agencies reaching out to you asking for partnerships, get on a call with them, quick call with them, set the right expectations, and basically vouch them. I mean, if you go to their LinkedIn and they're a one-man operation, it's not really going to be a great partnership. Um, look at their capabilities. Look at their clients. And if you are not actively doing outreach to build these type of relationships for your agency, you need to start today. Because imagine if you if you started today and in six months you build relationships with 10 agencies, those people have volume. So you could just have leads coming to you, the types of leads that you 100% want the type of business that you want. And guess what the beautiful part is here? You are not paying for that client acquisition. Somebody is just giving it to you for a, for a very basic referral fee, right? You can't beat that. So if you're not doing these partnerships, start today. We'll talk to you guys next week.